So we're going to kind of do an update on the uh, video I shot a long time ago about porting a cylinder on a chainsaw. And uh, what I kind of got laid out here is a rough diagram and some markings on these cases or these, these uh, cylinders and piston about airflow restriction. And if you look at here, we're going to take and take material off of uh, this cylinder here. This is showing you, so we can show the piston moving up and down in there. And the red is the area that you want to stay away from, especially on this exhaust port here, because if you look down, as it comes to the bottom, there's not much room there before you start exposing that piston so you're not going to gain anything. Where you are going to gain is along these edges where it's green. You're going to take off not so much out here but in here you're going to take and kind of square this corner off. And it's a rule of thumb you, you don't want you want to stay away from these two but you want to stay away from here and here kind of as well. Now with that said you can get up in here and get a little more just a little more air coming in before it comes back down. But primarily what you want to do is make sure that up and down you're not exposing the rings. If you go too far obviously exaggerated you sh you'd expose the rings on the bottom side and you'd, you'd leak out here. <clears throat> so what I like to do is where I have in green here is out I'd rather take more area away here on the sides of the port instead of the top and bottom of the port. Uh, th then you don't get into where the piston is. It, you're creating more air volume because the point of all this is to pack more air in here and then what I'm going to do if you see here I'm going to mill off the bottom of this cylinder after I get my measurements at about about at least the thickness of the gasket that I'm going to use instead of going with no gasket uh, I like the gasket uh, for sealing better and if you, if you mill off a little or if you shave off a little. It doesn't have to be a lot. I mean, we're only talking... So this gasket is... You know, five thousandths, maybe. Three thousandths. So we're going to do that and that. And all, all of this, except for maybe the milling, and you can do it if you use care and caution to take some material off with a file and a vise. All this you can do at home or in your shop with very limited tools. Uh, files, uh, a Dremel and a drill. You got to be very careful with the diamond bits because they cut faster than you think. Now you can see on this piston here that we're going to use where I got marked in red uh, I know it's the opposite of what I did. Red here means this is where you stay away. This is where you remove material. But it was hard to see the green on this. So the red is casting marks, like, like there, that need to be removed. And we're not looking to open this up and, and cause crazy airflow in here. Uh, we just want to take away anything that causes uh, air uh, disturbance. And you see on this side that that red there is actual see, see how the file hits it. That's actual casting junk on there that needs to come off and that will make it air flow through faster because the whole point like I said is we're going to raise the compression a little bit by by physically the piston's going to go higher by removing this material and give us a little tighter squeeze. So the more air we got coming in, 
means the more fuel it's going to suck in. And the, the better it can do that, and the harder we can pinch it, and then get it out of there just the same, the more power we're going to create. Now, this isn't going to be a race you saw. It's just going to be a high-performance uh, ported. Because uh, these, this is 075, 076, TS760, that's a, uh, it's a really torquey engine and a lower RPM engine with a really long stroke. And, uh, you know, for 111 cc, it's 58, 58 millimeter piston. It, we want, we don't want a high revving saw, we just want a better performing saw. Uh, for this type of application and you try and get in here their transfer ports are extremely difficult to get into without nicking up your wall uh, so you know you get in there and try and clean those up a little bit if you can and if you can't don't worry about them you probably do more harm than you could ever do good inside there now the reason I laid the rest of this out is as I said in the former video, you can have all the airflow perfect inside this cylinder. You have restriction here inside this gasket. And this gasket, if it's a little bit a little smaller, you have a little air reduction there on the manifold. Now you're going to have this heat shield to deal with. Now, if that's a little bit smaller, by the time we're done, you can see, you can see right here, that's going to cause air restriction, and I'm, I'm guessing these are going to too. So we'll match this shield to the cylinder, and then we will also match our gasket to our heat shield on both sides which will match it to the cylinder and we'll make sure that we have as much airflow at every point that we possibly can get including all of this here you're only gonna get as much air out of there as you can get out of your muffler so we're gonna have to take and open this up to match what we do here so you always want to keep that in mind we don't need to get over overly aggressive, but even if we do, we can only, you know, you're gonna, you can only take this so far without getting too thin. We're gonna remove the rest of this old baffle, but we're pretty much gonna make a high performance, brand new saw. Uh, in quotations, out of old junk parts. Uh, I'm gonna split this case. We're going to put new bearings and seals in it. I got a almost new case or crank that has no big end play. We're going to install in there. And we're going to put new piston, cylinder, rings, gaskets. Uh, so the internals will all be new and modified. Um, I went and uh, some of these parts uh, had some cracks in them, but uh, we're going to shine them up. I took out the stuff that was bad. Uh, we're going to run them through the, well, I'll run all the parts through the, uh, the hot tank and the uh, ultrasonic cleaner before we, we reassemble, uh, just to make sure we got everything off of there. And then probably repaint it, even though uh, I'd like to powder coat someday that actually sticks the paint kind of you can't beat their enamel from the factory unless you powder coat um, so I'm gonna finish tearing down this saw uh, and make sure that everything on the case is internally good I'm gonna have a little bit of wear here and there but it's to be expected with a 30 to 40 year old saw uh, so I'll cut away and then uh, we'll show you it completely disassembled, uh, show you how to press the bearings out, how to press new bearings in, and uh, we'll, we'll do the rest of the work.